Hello and welcome to Rides from the Past. During the 1980s and 1990s, the UK funfair scene was inundated with novelty rides. This series is a basic look back at some of the more unusual rides the UK has seen. In the first episode, we looked at the roller. If you haven't viewed it yet, then the link is above right to the video. Watch this video first, otherwise I'll send Simon round to roundhouse you. To be honest, I'm quite startled by the amount of views this video achieved and the amount of feedback received. I really did not expect as much, so I'd like to first thank every one of you who've taken the opportunity to do so. I'm not going to waffle on too much, so here are some of the comments received from fellow YouTubers. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Now let's get on with episode 2. For episode 2, we will be exploring the Zunami, a thrill ride marketed by the Fabry Group in the 1990s. During the middle part of the decade, there was an influx of topspin style machines. In 1993, Matty and Douglas Taylor introduced to the UK the Terminator, a Serenium Moser Superloop on top, which took the major fares by storm throughout that year, particularly for its additional movements. The next two years saw variants of the top spin including space loops from Far Fabry, the first Huss machines installed in theme parks and the very first UK built machines from Northern Amusements based on the Huss design. So in the summer of 1996, a smaller variant arrived in the UK which is the focal point of this episode. The Zunami from FC Fabry Park a division of the Fabry Group in Italy. In July, I first met Frank Creecraft and his wife Sheila, who travelled much of the UK from their native Midlands area with their square Helter Skelter. The ride was ordered for their son Wayne to travel due for shipping in August, and Wayne said the machine, although smaller, will offer more of an intense thrill. This photo is from an advert I found in a magazine dating back to 1996. Geeky shot, huh? The ride was delivered on time, and following appearances at Guernsey, Devizes and Neath, I first saw the machine at Ringwood Carnival in September, a fair which Frank and Sheila regularly attended with their Helter Skelter at the time. I met up here with local enthusiast and filmmaker Phil Wills, who regularly captured his local main fair on his VHS cam corner annually. On this occasion, he was at the right place at the right time to capture yours truly taking a ride for himself, which we shall see during the next clip. I said this once, and I'm going to say it again. As Simon and Two Tokens would say, this ain't for theme park fannies.
want some more riders? Are you ready for some more? I can't hear you, are you ready for some more? Amongst other affairs for the rest of 1996, it was to make an appearance on the floating position in Queen Street at Ilkeston Charter Fair. In 1997, having just weeks before appeared at Hereford May Fair, I caught up with the Cree Crafts again, open at a new bank holiday fair operated by John Warren's son on Eastbourne Seafront, as shown on this photo. This photo reminds me, when I left Eastbourne for the way home, I accidentally took a wrong turn and passed BG Head. I still don't know to this day how I managed to get home. I've lost track where it attended for the rest of that year, and until 1998 it was mainly affairs around the Midlands area. By September 1998, the machine returned to Ringwood Carnival, as we shall see in this clip again by Phil Wills. After Ringwood, the Zunami made the first of two consecutive appearances at Bridgewater Fair on Willie Webb's old Voyager position, facing Stephen Hill's Miami trip, where Joey Noyce's Sky Flyer appears nowadays. Bridgewater was very muddy both years, I'm sure many will remember this. I used to come out of the fair through a back field to my car, looking like Farmer Giles and Kate and Cowpat. Wayne Creecraft quite often opened a machine on the Pat Collins Fun Fairs run. We found the machine at Chester May Fair in 1999 as shown. Into the 2000s the machine quietly continued its appearances around the family's native Midlands area, with occasional visits to other parts, including Neath Fair in September. In 2001, he did spend some time at Galway Bay Amusement Park in Ireland. Turning the clock forward to the late 2000s, I discovered that Wayne changed his venue of May Day and during my spring visits I'd find him occupying his father-in-law's position at Reading in 2008 and 2009, this photograph coming from the latter year. One of them years I visited six fairs all in the afternoon and evening trip. My God, I used to annoy my parents when they asked me where I'd been to. Cardiff Big Weekend 2009 was to be the last time I would see the machine open during a very unsettled day. The following year, 2010, the machine left the UK shores for new life in Spain. Wayne confirmed this to me at Bridgewater Year that year, so I decided to research the internet and find its whereabouts. Sherlock Cooper is on the case. I 
found this clip of a tsunami open at Estart in Costa Brava in August 2010. <laughs> Ride did not stay in Spain for very long. According to this French source, the ride had been sold to France the following year 2011. It was the last I heard of the machine, so I thought it'd be a good idea to track it down. I searched the French websites and YouTube to see if I can capture anything. My opinion, as if it had been in France, it did not stay there very long. Elementary, my dear Watson. We discovered that from 2012, a tsunami was found to be entertaining guests at the Ludi Park Amusement Park near Marrakesh in Morocco. <laughs> However, according to the website, it is no longer there. There doesn't appear to be any big amusement rides anymore. I continued to search YouTube and eventually discovered that the ride was sold on to a Moroccan show for attending fairs around the country. This applies up until the end of 2019 during pre-pandemic times. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this basic video about the Zoom area. The next episode we will be looking at another ride which, like the High Roller, originated from the American Carnival Midways. 
This ride was also unique to the UK, arriving in the mid-1980s from Milton, Indiana, USA. Some of you will guess what this ride is. All will be revealed soon, so stay tuned for the next edition of Rides from the Past. Tough one, nice one, get sorted.